All right, Shalom. I'm going to start first by giving all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Kahalal, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, who through the power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and the Spirit, they uh, deliver this word unto us and are good examples unto us. Um, greetings, salutations, and blessing unto the Akim, who also are great examples of uh, of the type of people we should be. And it's true. Uh, Shalom to the house of David, who will get a get salvation. Shalom. Uh, wow. Anyway, yeah. Um, try this again. Yesterday, I attempted this video, and for some reason, Esau, Satan, whatever, wouldn't let it get up. So try one more, one more again. The app does trip at time from time to time, but anyway, so basically the brothers on on you know was kind of conversing about situations with the end of which is the so-called nigger woman, which is uh, the 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 worldly called black woman in society, and 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 the spirit that they have on it, and it kind of something that was already in my spirit to to speak on, or that was just kind of thinking on was just how. The Israelite woman, the so-called Hispanic woman, and the so-called Native American woman as well as the so-called black woman, they all have this spirit of being a queen. You know, that's like the, the, the pride and joy of these women is to be a queen, or to be considered a queen, treated like a queen. They got all these queen phrases when you look at these memes or whatever it is, and they don't even understand the word, but they don't even realize how much it, it fits them. You know, in a in a negative sense, not in a positive sense, but in a negative sense. You know, being a wife is way better than being a queen. If you understand words and meanings, you know. And then uh, I went into the word, and it and man, some I'm gonna bring it out. You know, apostle, I believe, Gabar, I think it was, uh, put us onto this word, or a brother or something put us onto this word on a live show a while back. And I've been wanting to do the video, just, you know, you get tired of talking about the so-called black woman. Then, uh, man, you get tired of talking about her and the Israelite woman. But but this is a, a, a big thing going on amongst our the men of our people. You got to deal with this animal, man. You got to deal with the elephant in the room. And you got to get over it, man, because we've been raised by these women to to to, to uplift them and to follow after their their folly and their madness, their their, their lack of, of uh, decision-making. The lack of knowledge, the lack of wisdom, you know, and this was designed by uh, Willie Lynch when he took the men out of the home and, it, and all the way down into or out of the tribes back then. And, and Esau now, which is the so-called white man, took it, taking the men out of the homes with all these uh, luxuries and gifts that they give these women like Section 8, uh, food stamps, so on and so forth. The man can't be in the home. So now, you know, the woman going to sneak around and get her man, but it, it, it makes it kind of a... Uh, cake and eat it too situation you know instead of just being having integrity and sticking just with you she'll kick you out just to get them goodies from the so called white man who through the spirit is her real lover all the way back with Eve so I'm going to jump into a couple of scripts I had and you know the spirit had me really rolling yesterday we'll see how it does today so I'm going to start up uh, with Proverbs the 31st chapter and uh hold on one second I can uh and it says, Proverbs 31, uh, this is basically, as you can see at the top, uh, King Lemuel, his mother, gave him something, gave him this, this jewel of, of, of knowledge, you know, and this is it right here. Basically, at verse 3, it says, Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. When you allow a woman to, to rule over you, to, to run your kingdom for you, you know, that's, that's how you you get destroyed if you go back and you look at what actually went down with some of the, the great kings usually a woman was the was the downfall of that the great king solomon a woman was a, you know messed that up or women messed that up a lot of us women messed that up so i'm gonna go from there into the apocrypha yeah i was gonna go to the beginning but you know the order always changes through the spirit so just gotta roll with it with it um first edges chapter four um, I'm going to start around 22, I believe. I think I can start up a little higher than that. 
to hit a point. Yeah, I'm not going to go into the story of Zerubbabel. Brothers should, I always encourage brothers to read that story, you know, about uh, the advisors to the king or, or the guards to the king. And Zerubbabel want to get closer. Well, they all want to get closer to the king to, to be an advisor to the king. And um, they went over that. So you can start at the uh, first Edges chapter 2 and read on through 4. Um, yeah. Let me see. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to start up at uh, verse, verse 13. And then I'm going to read down a little bit. Then I'm going to jump down and then uh, hit a couple points. And then move on. But anyway, it says, uh, First Edges chapter four, verse thirteen. Then the third, who has spoke of women and the truth, this is Zerubbabel, began to speak. He said, "Oh, because the first two said, first one said, I believe the king is is the strongest. Then the the next one said, wine is stronger, you know. And then Zerubbabel said, women are stronger than those, but truth is stronger than everything else. So." Um, so this is the, the Zerubbabel part. Anyway, it says, um, oh, ye, verse 14, oh, ye men, is it not the, it is not the great king, nor the multitude of men, neither is it wine that excelleth, who is it that ruleth them, or that have lordship over them? Are they not women? And this is something that out here in Vegas on the radio, uh, ISUPK had their women going into this thing talking about women and uplifting women with these same scriptures, but you missed the message if you don't understand the context of this. And I'm going to say this for you women that's tuning in. Hey, women are vital to this thing. You guys are vital to this whole Israelite thing. Women. But we don't need the Judite woman. We don't need the Israelite woman to bring our nation back. If y'all ain't going to get right, we don't need y'all to bring back our nation. It comes through the, the seed of the men. You know, so we don't need y'all to bring back our kingdom if y'all ain't going to get in order. But there's an order. The, the importance of it is you're supposed to be uh, teaching the children, guiding the household. And this is going to go into that a little bit, you know, and, 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 and following uh, the game plan, so to speak, that comes from Yahweh through Yahweh's side to the man as the head of the household, then the, then the woman down into the children. Guiding the household, rearing the children, those things are, are vital. Taking care of the man, those things are vital for you women. In this time, it's tough because women have to work, and Esau knows he don't want you taking care of your man, you know, without working. He he wants to break up the family best he can, so he gives the women the job in this society. But if you can still keep the the proper spiritual order of the mentality that we should keep as a nation, that's the best that we can do, and and you'll see the blessings start coming through from the top. Through the order, right? Without that link in the chain being taken out like Esau wants, being the man taken out of the household. Anyway, so it says, um, but back up at 14, it says, Oh, ye men, is it is not the great king, nor the multitude of men, neither is it wine, because the, the king tell everybody to do something, he have a multitude of men to work for him. The wine maketh every man on the same level, who excelleth, it says, or who is it then that ruleth them, or have lordship over them? Are they not women? Women have borne the king and the people that bear rule by sea and land. Even of them came they, and they nourished them up that pl that planted the vineyards, whence come the wine, which so like it, from whence the wine cometh. They also make garments for men. These bring glory unto men, and without women cannot be. You know, uh, let me read this one too. It says, Yea, and if men gather together gold and silver or any goodly thing, do they not love a woman which is comely in favor and beauty? You know, basically, a man will, will do all of that, but they still, they don't love, men don't even chase after money to have money for themselves. They think about the woman that they can now be in the realm of getting or in the, in the, in the, um, on the level of getting, in the bracket of getting to even say it that way, to, to, to get the type of woman they can get with, with the type of money that they have, you know? But when you realize it, a woman is just a woman, man. It's not much special about a woman except the skills and the things that they do and the support that they are able to give to the man and the family. They are the backbone of the family, but they are not the head of the family. They are, they do help the strength of the family, but they are not the the the, the sole 
you know, top dog of the family. That's not what it is, man. And with that queen mentality, that's what you women want. You want to be on that level to be equal or greater than the man. That's that's a path of destruction. That's not what the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai has set up for us. So let me jump down. Um, verse 22. It says, By this also ye must know that women have dominion over you. And that's that queen mentality, right? It says, Do ye not labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman? That's to, like, like she's the queen. Everything you get, you be like, Hey, baby, look what I got. You know, wanting her to rejoice with you, not realizing that she can take it as, you know, like you like you slayed the dragon to come save her. Like she was the thing. But the dragon was terrorizing the whole kingdom. You know? Anyway, it says, um, Yea, a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and to steal, to sell upon the seas and upon rivers. Yeah, the rob and steal doing negative things for women. Many of Jake is in jail right now over a woman. Trying to appease a woman. Should have been trying to appease the spirit of Yahweh about Shimei Ashai, man. That's who you should be worried about. You know? To sail upon the seas and upon rivers. When, when men took sail, even today, or took fight or whatever, those things, you don't, you're not guaranteed to come back from those things. Especially as sea in the ancient world. When you went out to sea, man, you, you wasn't guaranteed to come back. You made, you made sure all your affairs were in order before you bounced. You know, travel is a lot different now, but still, it, it, if you go out in these streets, especially in Jake's neighborhood, man, you, you may not come back, depending on where you live at. Reading on. Um, yeah, verse 24, And looketh upon a lion, and goeth in the darkness, and when he has stolen, spoiled, and robbed, he bringeth it to his love. For man, for wherefore a man loveth his wife better than father or mother. Yea, Here's the key point right here. Yea, many there be that run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sake, meaning putting them on that queenly level, you know. And here's where the birth of that that um, queen of heaven worship is at, and then that queen queenly mentality that women want to have, and it's just to rule over you, Jakes. Because when it comes down to the so-called white man, the women as a white woman gets in order. She ain't bucking up to him. She's humbly, she's treating him like that's her real man. That's how she don't buck up against him. She may be mad at him, but when he say do something, she do it. And she'll make sure you do it. If he tell you to do something, you be like, I ain't doing that shit, Esau, fuck you. Or, you know, pardon my French, but, but straight up, she'll be like, no, you need to do that. We, and a lot of, I'm telling you, a lot of these women going to make you men take the chip, man. Going to make you take the chip. You need to go do something good for your family, feed your family. We need this chip. We need to eat. We need the mark of the beast. And a lot of you weak ass, simple ass, simp niggas is going to take it, man. Uh, reading on, it says, Many also have perished, have erred, and sinned for women. And now, do you believe me? Do you not believe me that it is the king? That it is not the king great in his power. Do not all regions fear to touch him? Yeah, you couldn't touch the king. But guess who touches the king? He says, yet, and here's an account that he's, he's bringing up, said, yet did I see him and a Padme, the king's concubine, the daughter of the admirable Barticus, sitting at the right hand of the king. His armor bearer or his adv chief advisor is supposed to be sitting at the right hand of the king. Not the, um, not the concubine, let alone the wife. How much less the concubine, right? But she put that, she, she put that on him. Put the punani on him, you know what I mean? You know, and a lot of you, Jay, get weak for Poonanny. I mean, we all love it, but still. Anyway, reading on, it says, um, uh, sitting at the right hand of the king and taking the crown from off the king's head. That's to be, if anyone touches the crown of the king, that should, it's usually in, instant death, right? It says, um, and sitting it upon her own head, instant death for that action. And also struck the king with her left hand. When he went to take it back, she smacked him with her left hand. Like she was the un like he was the underling. Right? It says, and yet for all this the king gaped and gazed upon her with open mouth, with astonishment, like, oh what well, babe, what what? What you tripping for? Versus say, hey, put this bitch to death. You know? That's what should have went down. But Jake is weak for women. 
So it's not just the woman wanting to be in that queen position. It's you men putting the woman in that queen position. We're going to get into that word queen. It says she also struck the king with her left hand. And yet for all this, the king gaped and gazed upon her with open mouth. If she laughed upon him, he laughed also. She goes, ha, then you ain't going to do shit. No, whatever, man, whatever. He'll laugh it off too. Said, but if she took any displeasure at him, the king was fain to flatter. Whatever, man. Would you want to do something? Do it. I don't care, man. You ain't getting. Nah, baby. Come on. Quit, quit playing, man. You know, sorry. Right. Just, just don't do it no more. Being all weak, man. Instead of being the way he's supposed to be, that she might be reconciled to him again. That she may not would be cool with him again. May, may give him that good loving again or whatever. Right? Oh, ye men, how can it be? But women should be strong. Seeing they do thus, they put the king down on that level, which is perpetuating that queenly mentality. But when we come back into the rulership mentality of the real Israelite man, ain't none of that going to be going on. And when the real humility of our women comes into play, we ain't gonna, they ain't going to be wanting to be in that position like they are now. now. Let's go into that word queen. Lord willing, it, uh, everything works out beautiful. Um, let's see. We're going to go into... It's something else. Let me see. Lord, when this pops up. Nope. Let's try it anyway. Um. <clears throat> Bear with me one second. Yep. Oh, it's already giving up the definition. Let's see. It says, Queen. This is the true uh, origin of, of the word queen, meaning uh, an impudent or ill-behaving girl or woman. When you go into impudent, I will, I'll just go into impudent right quick. Let's see if I can open another one. Because this matters, man. This stuff, oh, there it is right there from yesterday. Impudent, not showing due respect for another person. Impertinent, not showing due respect for a person. Like a Padme, right? Well, she was supposed to, she was supposed to respect the king more and better than that, but she didn't. Brazen, bold, audacious, presumptuous, insolent, cocky, insubordinate, disrespectful, brash, rude, impolite. These are words that go with impudent. Which brings me to a scripture. Let me jump to it right quick. Hop on the scripture to back that up. Um, it's also on the Apocrypha. Um, Sirach. Famous Sirach, 25th chapter, when you get on these women, man. We use the 22nd verse. Yes, it says a woman, it's Sirach 25 and 22, it says a woman, if she maintain her husband, meaning tries to control him or rule over him, is full of anger, impudence, lack of res due respect. That Due respect means what you've earned, not, not just of, you know respect out of nowhere. I'm going to just give you this respect. No, what you've earned. Lack of due respect and much reproach, meaning back talk. A woman, if she maintain her husband, tries to control him, is full of anger, uh, impudence, lack of respect, and much reproach. Does that not? Did that not talk about the end of? Is that not talking about the Israelite woman? From 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 the the Hispanic woman, the the, the Native American woman, all the way up to the so-called black woman. You know, that's that's our that's our women in a nutshell, right there. If she tries to con control her husband, where you been at? How long you gonna be? When you gonna be back? You know, and when a man don't meet that and don't, baby, if he don't want that a Padme, um, the king, the kingly spirit, like like in the, in, in uh, Edwards the first chapter, I mean, uh, first Edwards the fourth chapter, when he come out like them, they're, yeah, that's what I thought. You know, they be they will rule over you. In 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 wickedness and negativity. Let's go back, man. To that word queen and get rid of impudent let's go back to queen it says uh come on now <clears throat> bear with it okay here we go it's from let's read it again an impudent or ill-behaving woman or girl right a prostitute when you look at our women what do you see all over social media all out there in public is what our women out there were half naked parading themselves around like a prostitute. They think that sexuality is the only gift that they got. You know, 
not realizing men ain't into that no more. Yeah, we want that from them, but that's not all we want from you. We want you to have sound mind. We want you to be humble. We want you to be uh, 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 subjective, you know, and we also want good input from you. Just because we get in, in, a, a righteous man will get input from his woman. That doesn't mean we're going to do exactly what you say, but we want your input so we can appease y'all plus the situation because we're the head that has to make the right decision. And it's okay for men to, to take uh, opinion or, or input from a woman. It's quite all right. I don't, just don't get mad or all emotional about it when we don't go. If you don't come up with nothing good, it's okay. Anyway, the origin of the word queen was Germanic. Uh, down to Old English, which was queen, C-W-E-N-E, -E, meaning woman. Dutch was queen, meaning barren cow. Anyway, we'll skip over that because that's kind of how our women are now. They're just barren cows or heifers, which it goes into that. Um, mainly used in the 1800s, between 1800 and 1850 when it was really big. Um, but I went down into, where is it? Yeah, let's go to this one. At dictionary.com it said an overly forward impudent woman shrew hussy a prostitute those are not positive those are not a British dialect a girl or woman or young woman especially a robust one yeah having that physical uh, out there spirit a disreputable woman especially specifically specifically prostitute um having that that robust having that that outgoing spirit which our women that's a beautiful thing for our women to have that outgoing spirit but they have it in a negative sense then i went into wiktionary which i found some crazy stuff in wiktionary let's get into it young robust woman you know we're going back over those um cow heifer barren woman woman wife more at queen this is where it gets really interesting and to the one that y'all that ain't me i ain't a, i ain't a queen with an a i'm a queen with an e all right well let's go into that queen with an e with two e's right chess queen tried to say the chess queen is the more most powerful piece on the chessboard which is not true she just the most uh versatile i guess you could say you know she, she's not really restricted by a lot, which is all cool, but you know, we're gonna let that slide. Um, Empress, royal, blah, 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 etymology on it. Uh, then we're gonna get into something I saw in here that was cold blooded. Queens, where are we at? Most powerful piece on the chessboard? No, monarch, a female monarch, mm hmm, card games. Here we go. Number six, no, let's 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 say it right here. A powerful or forceful female person. That's what you women want it to be. You know, you want to have that. And let me let me get a script right quick. Goes back to the garden with, uh, with Eve wanting that power. Let's go all the way back to Genesis right quick. Um, let's start at the top. I'll read down. Um, yeah. Let me see to get to the point. Most brothers know this story. I'm going to start at verse 3. It says, But the fruit of the tree, this is Genesis 3 and 3, it says, But the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, and that proves that, that she didn't even know what tree that was. Adam knew, but didn't give her all the information because she didn't need to know it. She just needed to follow directions of not to do it. And she was doing good. Then the serpent came in and beguiled her. That's what happened. It said, But the fruit that it is in the tree, the, tree, the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, the Most High have said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God, the Most High, do know that in the day that ye eat thereof, your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And that's that power that Eve wanted, man, that you women want. You guys wanted that power. You want to be on that same level with Adam. You want to be on that same level with the Most High. You wanted that, and you still want that today. That's why you have no problem ruling over the Israelite man. You know, you know your God is above you, which is the so-called white man. You don't, you don't think of, um, um, because who's supposed to be your Lord 
over you is your man. With 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 Yahweh Shai above him and Yahweh, the most high God above everybody. But you like having the white man as your lord, because he gives you license to run free and do all kinds of stuff, and you get and he allows you to rule over your man. But that spirit gotta go, man. That spirit's gotta be gone. We're gonna eradicate that off the planet. Yahweh Bah Shimmy Shai is gonna eradicate that spirit off the planet. Ain't gonna be no more of that queen spirit on the planet no more. Not out of no Israelite woman. And we're going to break the other nations off that also. Most of the other nations ain't really into that in the first place. They're the most humble and subjective women. That's why the Israelite man has no problem dealing with heathen women. Because they know that they can be the head of that household. They can be on top where they're supposed to be. You know? And feel like in the position that they're supposed to be. But then you women get mad. The brother put the statistic out, man. If I remember this, 5% of the population of the earth is the Israelite woman. 85% of that 5% is single. That's ridiculous, man. That's ridiculous. It's And, it, and it's, this whole queen mentality is, is the reason why. You know? That that not willing to share, not willing... I mean, we ain't gonna get into that part, but just all of that mentality is why. So let's... um Let's read a little further. Um... And, the, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and the tree to be desired to make one wise, she wanted to be just as wise as Adam. If not more, that's that 50-50 madness or her above the man. It says, and the tree to be desired to make one wise, she took the, the fruit thereof and did eat. She made that boss decision and it was a bad one. She made that decision and it was a bad one. You know, it said, and, and gave also unto her husband with her weak ass Adam and he did eat yeah we that was us men we ate that we ate that fruit oh baby you brought oh look what this is what is this but it wasn't just a fruit it was some information that we wasn't supposed to know about that's really what that was you know so now we're uncovered we're, we're naked now we know that there's good and evil and now we got to, to make a decision we're not covered no more with naivety you know, being naive to, to anything anymore. So let's go back into that word queen real quick. And then we'll move back into the scriptures. Because here's something big, man, that you guys got to see this. When I saw this, I was like, my goodness, I don't, it's so true. Ver, uh, the sixth uh, verse, right? It says, LGBT slang, often derogatory. An effeminate male homosexual compared drag queen and street queen. See usage notes. We're going to go down to those usage notes right quick. Let me see. Yeah, it says, seven says a reproductive female animal in a hive, such as an ant, bee, termite, or wasp. Dope male, uh, dope female cat valued for breeding. And here's where we start to get into the good stuff. Usage notes. LGB term can be either derogatory or self-identification. Compare nigger that's right here in, in wiktionary but it's accurately on point right here in wiktionary compare nigger know why because we'll start with the word nigger right esau uses it the so-called white man uses the word nigger against e, uh, uh jake it it or the so-called black man it hurts it stings it's painful because of the history we went through right but then jake turned around and used the same word and it's, a, it's an endearing, affectionate term used upon one another, right? So it's you can be self-identification or it could be derogatory depending on where it's coming from. Well, same thing with queen and the homosexuals, right? It's actually a derogatory term when it was created, but then now it's used as something, uh, self-identification for you women. You women, oh, I'm a queen, not realizing it's coming from a negative place. Just like the word bitch. When a man uses the word bitch to a woman, especially an Israelite woman, oh, oh, the world stops and the woman's wrath all across the earth and blah, 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 blah. You know, all hell breaks loose, right? But when but women fly that word around amongst each other all damn day, and it's all and it's an affectionate term between women, but it don't change what it means. And I'm going to give you, through the scripture, what it means, right? What it means, we're going to go into the book of Sirach. Yep, 
26. I believe it's around 20. I'm sorry, 23, but I think it's around 25. Yeah, 25 says, A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. What is a female dog? It's a bitch. But not just a, a woman, a shameless woman. And when you look at these women that talk about how much they're a queen, that's exactly what they are. They're shameless. They wear their, well, I need a real nigga. I need this. I need all, all of this stuff that they talking about. But they are shameless that they jumping around from this last nigga was no good. The next nigga got to be good. You better have this and that. And I don't even work for it. I just, you know, all of this other stuff. But it's, it's that lack of shame and humility. Because you should you should have eternal shame for for for, for listening to that, that serpent that, that beguiled you, for entertaining the serpent that beguiled you to even get that wickedness put on our people. So at the end of the day, this is all your fault. At the end of the day, if you wanna if you wanna point fingers. But the point is, we have to be shameful for the role that we played in it, and you should be shameful for the role you played in it. But you don't want no parts of that shame that you did from Eve. And that's where the problem is at. You don't want to deal with the shame that you that you did as Eve. But guess what, man? It's on you. You 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 deserve that. It said, a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog or a bitch, but she that is shamefaced it will fear the Lord. And that's why men have said it all the time. You know, a lot of you women are bitches. Wonder why I call you bitch, right? A Tupac is out, right? Wonder why I call you bitch? Because you act like one. Wonder why... You, you, you think you're a queen because you act like a prostitute out there. You know? Most niggas that use the word nigga like that or, 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 or pass it around is talking to niggas that act like that. We don't use that over here at Great Millstone amongst each other once the brotherhood. We have more better endearing terms, Hebrew terms. Ak, Akim, you know, bro, brother. We use all of those, you know? There's, there's a better way to do this. But it starts with the mentality. But you women want that rulership mentality. You don't want this thing to go down because you love it here. You love this place, which makes you the enemy of the so-called Israel, or makes you an enemy of the Israelite man. And I'm gonna go. I didn't even have this one on the list. I'm gonna go to it though. We're gonna go to Micah, chapter seven, cold script. Um, yeah. Micah 7 and 10, then she that is mine enemy shall see it. It's telling you right now that, that our women are the enemy. Because they're they don't want they don't want their power taken away. They don't want they don't want their 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 freedom to, to run and, and do whatever the hell they want to be taken away. And, and the moment Yahweh Bashim Yahshai comes back to, to, to set righteousness upon the earth, all that's gone. So it said, um, then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, because she's not shame now. She should already be covered with shame. You Israelite women should already be covered with shame for the part that you partook in this whole big old terrible world. We got blame too, but you got the, you got blame, a lot of blame also. And then you still today are perpetuating it, even with the Israelite men out there. Some of the women that, that deal with these Israelite men still... Don't believe, which we don't expect you to believe, but some of you still want this world to continue like it is. Want to act like, well, I'm going to just be cool with him because I don't, you know, just to be cool because he all right. But, but at the end of the day, I don't want none of this to stop. That's just what he believed. And sometimes you feel like believing, sometimes you don't. But that ain't what this is, man. This is a full-time thing. That's why none of you women are in the truth. You can learn and, and you know, you, you may get salvation through whoever you connected to, but, but you're not in it like that. Reading on, it says, um, start at the top of 10 again. It said, Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? You know, where, where is he at? Look at the world, how messed up it is. Where is he at? When is he? You said he was coming. My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire in the streets. And we all know, uh, end up. Uh, Israelite woman like that that shall be trodden down as a mire in the street that we don't give two things about, man. You know, we don't we don't care nothing about about that woman. You know? Nothing. And when that we know when that day comes, some of us is like, I can't wait to get my hands on, whether it be through child support or whatever license she has to rule over you, and she's exhibiting that power to the umpteenth time, you know. 
just trying to destroy you. For some of us, these women are, are, are just tests to, to have to get over. Anyway, so let's go back into um to uh let's go into some more scripts. I got uh I, some of these spirit moving now because I didn't even have some of these written down, but we are gonna go into them now. Go to Timothy's. Yeah, it says um First Timothy chapter two, start verse nine. In like manner also the women that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Our women are not modest. They queens. They independent. They strong. All the independent and strong are, are men qualities, but you know they're independent. They're strong. They show they they show their body parts everywhere. They don't dress modestly. They don't even have a modest mentality. Majority of our women of our nation, that whole eighty five percent, is usually not in a modest mind, modest humble mind state. Let alone do they dress that way, with shame facedness and sobriety, soberness in their shame facedness. Man, being sober minded means clear headed and understanding the big picture of this thing, not getting caught up by the the wine of the fornication over here in America or in the world today. They got to get past that and get over that, right? It says uh, shamefacedness. Here you go with that shamefacedness. Not being a bitch. So you won't be counted as a dog. It says not with broidered hair or gold or pearls or costly array. Not all dolled up all the time. All that dolled up is for you and your men. You know, I know you got to get dressed up in a certain manner to go to work or whatever you got to do be out in public. But being all dolled up, extra, extra, that's for the man at home, man. No man should feel special when he sees you but your man at home. But the queen got to have her her queenly outfit on. Because this world pushes a lot of queen of heaven worship. The birthday cake goes back to queen of heaven worship. Easter goes back to queen of heaven worship. You start going into, the, into these, uh, the society, like, like Starbucks image is queen of heaven. When you go into a lot of these things on earth, it's a lot of queen of heaven worship. Which is woman worship, which is pussy worship, man. And yeah, a lot of men will even attest that that women have the most power because of that that vagina. But guess what, man? When you realize how many men then got swallowed up by that vagina and destroyed because of that vagina, you ain't gonna, man. It, it's only good when, when it's fresh for you only, meaning getting her virginity, and you get fresh kids out of that, man. And you can and you can and you you put in the you know with a with a basically as what we gonna get in the kingdom because. Like the brother said, man, I'm not going to put brothers out there like that, but the brother was saying, man, like, I don't see it coming, man. I don't see a woman being like that until the kingdom. And it's like hard for a lot of men that live with that to, to understand a woman being like that when it comes down to it. Yeah, and I, and I feel him because you, uh, what do we have to go off of? But what y'all show us. Anyway, it says, um, but which becometh women professing godliness not all dolled up in the church, singing in greens, bean, potatoes, to me, all of that. Nah, man. Mahalia Jackson and all. Nah, man. With good works. With good works. Said, but I, I said, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. From who? From her husband. But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. It's more of a humble state again. Now, let me hit this because I think this was on the list. Um, you women are supposed to be humble to your man. There's an order. There's an order for that. I'm gonna start at the top of Corinthians, First Corinthians, the eleventh chapter. It says, "Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Yahweh Shai." This is what Yahweh Shai wants because this is what Yahweh wants. An order that Paul's delivering to us. It says, "Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things, and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you." But I would have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai, right? The anointed Savior says, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh. So it's Yahweh the Most High God, then Yahweh Shai, then the man, then the woman, and down into the children. You know, that's how you, that's the true order of it all. You know, that's the true order that it's supposed to be in. You know, we can't get this done without you. Meaning, like, we can't have a, a, a great family without the woman. We can't we can't have life without the woman. That wasn't what it was set up for. The man and woman was supposed to be a part of this thing. The union between man and woman and the, the, the reproduction and, re, you know, creation of, of the spirits and souls and, and children, that's supposed to be there. 
that that part of society is supposed to be there. You know? Um, so I'm gonna read this right quick. Um yeah, verse eleven it says, nevertheless, there neither is the man without the woman, neither the woman without the man in the Lord. For as the woman is of the man, even so is the man also by the woman coming out the womb. Not of the it came of the man, the necessity that man had for somebody to take care of him as he was taking care of the earth back in the garden. You know? But we but the way the cycle balances back, not fifty fifty, but balances back is that the seeds come out of the incubator of the woman's womb. You know, which is the woman's womb. Right? After the man plants it in the woman. Right? So it's a very necessity. It's a need for, for the woman. But not in this mind state. Not when our women are in this queen mind state. You guys parade yourselves. If I, I can go on, on World Star or any of these, any of Instagram. You look at the, the, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American woman, and she's parading herself, her sexuality, her sexuality out there. And to the world, and the world begins to look at you like, like that, like a piece of meat, to be the desire for sex, man. You know? that That's really what you are making yourself. That's the images that you're putting out there for yourself. The women that aren't doing it, because I know there's some of you that aren't doing that. You know? You may not have a body that to do it. Or, 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 well, you might, but, but, but the point is, that's not for, for you to be putting out there like that. You know, that humility, I know there's some of you doing it right, but majority of our women, they're not doing it right, man. And then you consider if you did have that, that accepted worldly, uh, uh, figure, if you will put it out there like that, you know, consider these things. Now, let me hit some of these scripts because I had a bunch of scripts, man. Um, where is it at? No, this ain't it. Let me find. I don't even know where my scripts was at no more. Find where I had them. Bear with me one second, IQ. So, uh, no, that's not it. Oh, shit, we just gonna keep rolling in if I can't find it because this is we know the spirit. Oops, we know the spirit of this thing anyway. Yeah, here it go. Long lesson. Um. Yeah, so, oh, let's go to this. Let's go to um, Jeremiah. Because here's part of that, too. Jeremiah, the 31st chapter. I'm sure brothers know it. We're going to read it. It says, uh, Jeremiah 31 and 22. How long will thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord Yahweh hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. Meaning a woman will be over a man. Right? A woman becomes... Became over a man, higher in society and rulership. That's a new thing in the earth. It's so new, not even every nation does it. The Asian woman don't do that. The white woman is is, is kind of picking up on it because her man is like that. Her man likes that old bull. But at the end of the day, if he put a foot down, guess what? She she falling back in order. The East Indian, the Arab, they 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 don't. They women ain't like that. That's you, Judite, Judite. Judite and, and, and Issacharite and, and so on and so forth. You Negro, Latino, Native American women. That's you. You Israelite women. That's our women. Which proves the curses are really on you. Um, Another script was, yeah, let's go into Isaiah. Isaiah, the third chapter. Start around the twelfth verse. And it says, as for my people, children are their oppressors. So-called white men, a younger and more insignificant race of people. Are our oppressors lesser in status because they don't have the power uh, in the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahshai within them? They're, they're, they're children, they're lesser than us. And women rule over them. As for my people, women rule over them. Our women rule over us. I said, Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err. Because they they don't have the right. Matter of fact, let me read this script and I'm going I'm to go to, to, to Job. They would lead thee, cause thee to err, and destroy the ways of thy past, because they broke that order. They broke that order uh, from the Most High to Yahweh Shai to man, and then down to woman. And she, they buy into that. You know, Esau is selling it, and they buy right into it. Um, and it says, 
uh, Job 39 and 17, because the Most High have deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted to her understanding. Because that's the role of the man to deliver that unto them. That's that There is a necessity for each, you know, but through Willie Lynch and so on and so forth, that's been taken away to women are put in that position to do it, but they liked it. They liked the power of that position. So when men came back from the wars or whatever, and women were in these positions, guess what? They they used that as, as hey, I don't need that. I was doing fine by myself when you was gone. Doing what I wanted to do. I was running this household, making this and that. You know, all the way from a few women doing that back then, then the women's lived with Margaret Sanger and all of that, all the way down into what these women have become today. Independent and jobs and hiring positions and, and, and all this and other stuff, man. That, that's what it makes. And it, it's completely destroyed our people. This has completely destroyed our people. That queen mentality of our women has completely destroyed our people. And that lack of a rulership mentality from our men. Because that's what the, these women were taught. You go to a family right now and get everybody together. As soon as that family starts arguing, I guarantee you, it won't be the men that set things in order. It's going to be a woman. Because you men can't talk it out. So the men probably going to end up fighting anyway. On some nigga shit, straight up. The women now, yeah, I don't need to be doing this. Y'all need to stop. And then here come big mama and mama of the household and grandmama and them and whoever else, man, to set things right, to set order in the house. You men should have the right mentality to be able to do that. And this is kind of a different lesson from yesterday. I mean, it's pretty much the same exact lesson. Talking about the queens, but but I'm also getting on you men, man, you simple ass men that perpetuate that queen mentality in our women. That, that, that make our women believe that that's the way it's supposed to be when it's not. You know? A wife, man. That's one thing we our women don't... Uh, to be a wife, meaning you have a man and you work with that man to make your household work. That's what a wife is all about. Anyway, um, let's go into... Yeah, I pretty much hit all the scripts on this. Let me hit a couple more. Then I'll close out. Um, I'm going to Sirach. 